Hello, boss cards. My name is Hatsusti, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where we are heavily employing rails and, of course, trains. And if you were wondering why the last episode took so long to make, and why this one is uh, not as uh, fast as uh, follow-up the materials to uh, set up such a factory they are quite extensive and what we were lacking are red circuits because if we uh, look at it uh, I had to add, we have um, one waiting station up here for red circuits, but I had to add another one down there because there were more than four trains waiting for red circuits. And if we look at it, uh, all uh, the, the four stations to load red circuits are currently uh, not available and I would guess this is because there are not enough red circuits. Yep. So basically we need more red circuits and for that we probably want to ensure we put in enough here on this side. And that brings the problem to the green circuits, where we can see we are unloading currently, um, but we only have one station where we could load additional green circuits, so we are not producing enough and if we look at the delivery here uh, what i often saw is trains were either waiting for the green circuits or for the copper wire so let's have a look at the copper wire and there we see a very similar uh, picture as for the green circuits so I think to start off we should scale up uh, copper wire production and green circuit production. And eventually we want to get rid of these copper smeltery which are only here um, to uh, until this copper field has run out because up here we have two more copper fields, but there we actually smelt the ore directly into plates and uh, and pick it up. So I was thinking that maybe we can have uh, copper wire production here and then next to it uh, the green circuit production. And unfortunately on the iron side it does not look that good because we have aside from uh, the uh, this field here which is in a similar state as the uh, other copper field almost uh, mined up on this iron field we are also picking up iron ore to be smelted and I think maybe down here we once we have all the resources mined up we could uh, replace this with a smelting array and maybe also here on top so I will not go in and uh, uh, extend the the miners uh, but just wait for the things to uh, run out and that can cause a bit of uh, a drawback uh, or a drip down because we do not have enough uh, iron 
Um, we are also done with all the uh, non-essential research. Uh, we have these three. Uh, actually, we can queue this one up. Uh, it's not really something that we need. Uh, we can have uh, the artillery. It's probably also not something that we need. And then this one, this will be the one research that unlocks everything else that we need until the rest, the end of the game. So I will hold uh, off of that because there are a few other things that we should probably tackle first. But first things first, uh, let's put in those factories for copper wire and uh, green circuits. With the second green circuit factory now also done, we should be in a better position to get more circuits out. However, I think uh, since I just finished this one, uh, we will not really see an impact on, uh, on the production uh, for green circuits. If we look at that over the last, let's say, an hour, it's going up and down maybe a slight upwards trend but if we look at it 10 hours it's almost constant and we can also have a look at copper because the copper factory of course is already a bit longer in place so maybe there we see an effect and even here I would say not, not really. So that poses the question, why did we just spend so much time adding two new factories uh, if we don't see an effect? And what we can see down here the copper or the, the green circuit output they are either occupied or not ready to receive a train same thing here for the copper wires and that's basically why we added a second station um, however what we also see here the delivery stations uh, three of the four are ready to receive trains and up here it's also three out of four so this tells me we also need more trains and i am thinking for for the copper wire we need copper plates so looking where we can get copper plates here all the stations are full or not ready to load. That leaves the ones up here with the station where we have one uh, open station up here and uh, this one could receive one if the train would be able to, to leave. So I think we need one more copper train and then we can have two more trains for uh, delivering items for the green circuit factory. And down here we have two trains stationed that are loaded with stone. Uh, those are the trains that went from the stone field to the stone brick smeltery which we no longer need so we can repurpose these two for delivering the uh, to the to the green circuits factory 
and then add another one, another copper tree. So that's probably what I will do first and then hopefully we can see actually an effect uh, in the productivity. But let's add the trains first. I did add a few more trains than the just three that I mentioned, but mainly on the side of uh, copper delivery. So that basically now we are in a state where we have just one uh, copper plate station uh, open uh, for a delivery. Uh, but I think it's still not enough because down here, of course, the smelting arrays are really slow. So we really want to to um, push the thing that was, that's coming out from these two fields, especially as this field eventually will run out, so I'm thinking maybe we can have another smelter here at the back. And then if we look at the green circuits delivery, there we see copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, uh, iron plate, um, delivery, iron plate and iron plate. And for iron plate, it's very similar. Smelter is down here slow. And then we only have this one up here and we have these two that produce iron ore. So I'm thinking I start to rip out the uh, um, uh, the mining drills so we can let run the uh, ore out and then replace it with a proper uh, smeltery and maybe we have to uh, tweak that a bit around so we can get past uh, this part here but we will we will see with the two additional or three additional stations two for iron one for copper we are probably short at least on the iron side because here on iron we replaced two ore loading stations with iron plate stations um, and we have just too much um, and that means that we probably have, yeah, for example here we have an iron ore train uh, that we could change the orders so it picks up iron plates instead. However, uh, looking at the stations here, we are somewhat full on the copper, not so much on the on the green circuits. Down here, uh, it's about the same picture, and I would say it's an improvement. Uh, previously, we'd had four stations, one occupied. Now we have four stations, currently three occupied, before it was two. Um, for the green circuits, it's still only one occupied out of, uh, out of four, which might be related, I would think. Uh, let's see, uh, iron plate, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, um, yeah, so I think there we could do with a bit more trains, um, we just have to be careful that we do not have trains that are waiting in the waiting bay, and, uh, 
that we have enough uh, supply. So one, I think, on the on the iron plate. Uh, actually, we could we could look. We could look. So iron. Uh, let's make this. So we are producing 2.7 thousand. We are only using 1.1 thousand per minute. So iron, we do have enough. Um, copper, we're producing uh, uh, 3.6 per minute using 2.4. So we are producing enough. However, the, the question there is, do we also deliver? And seeing that maybe not all stations are occupied, like this one here, we could do with even more trains and then probably also trains that supply more goods to the wires. However, looking at copper stations, currently we have three open there, uh, none free down here. So maybe we should think about um, expanding our network, cooking up another uh, copper field. Uh, however, we also should consider the pollution. Down here, not so much has changed, but with the addition of the additional mining, we are expanding in this area. So that gets close to this nest and that nest. And uh, these are just too powerful for just this armor that I have. So probably I should spend a few resources to get myself a better armor so I can have um, more laser turrets in there and maybe also exoskeleton. Um, we have to see. However, I don't think that's, that's a project for today. Um, what I still want to do is see how we can get more saturation there. Uh, so I think let's throw more trains at the problem and see where we get with that approach. I think we are almost there yet. Maybe we could do with a few more trains, but looking here and there, um, trains start queuing up on the rails because they cannot get to where they need to be. So we really need to make room here in this area so we can have one big line through in this direction, maybe also have uh, one vertical line, but that's not something that will happen today or tomorrow. Uh, but at least looking at our factories, we can see here the output for the green circuits, they are all blue, which means either they have a train coming or there is just not enough green circuits. Um, here the delivery, they are uh, waiting for trains. Uh, here we have trains. Uh, we could probably do with more trains for uh, picking up and delivering. Um, but uh, as said, I think our network here cannot handle more trains and if we have a look at the uh, at the production the production the blue one that's the the green circuits and there we can see uh, we have peaks 
that are now higher than previously. Uh, this dip was where we had a massive train jam. Nothing was going anymore. Uh, but you, you can see we are on the upward trend and this low one that's the, the red circuits and even there uh, we do still dip down to the same level but we have more of these humps where we are actually producing and just before I checked um, we were uh, good here uh, on the on the pickup um, so I think we are on the on the right track there but that's it for today I think next time uh, we will focus on that uh, new armor and then uh, make sure that our parameter is uh, is uh, safe uh, and then maybe we can think about expanding further hope you enjoyed it and see you next time until then goodbye